Hi everybody, this is Phil. Today we're making the first video of a series of video about just the system on our tiny house. There is a lot of questions about every single details, so I didn't really explain them uh, on the video tour about the laurier just because I knew that I that I wanted to make a video one just on the electrical, one on the uh, heating system and one on the uh, ventilation system. So very quickly, I'm gonna explain the best I can only the electrical system on the off-grid tiny house. This is the system we designed for our park model tiny house, which means uh, those are kind of big tiny home with a lot of uh, electrical needs. It's pretty much the same one we're gonna install in each tiny home, uh, off-grid tiny home. This is an insulated box. So uh, very quick, I'm gonna try to be quick. Uh, this is, there is eight batteries there. Uh, those are uh, six volt, 400 amp hours batteries. Uh, this is a 24 volt system. One group of four is connected in series uh, in parallel with the other group of fours, which means uh, it equals 24 volts. And then we change it in 12 volt uh, after this because the system inside is on 12 volt. All the lights, pump, uh, range hood, uh, there is uh, the, the, propane, uh, the propane radiant floor system works on 12 volt too. There is a lot of uh, 12 volt circuit. Uh, there is, in this one, there is uh, approximately 12 circuit uh, only on 12 volts. So how it works is there is eight uh, solar panels on top. It's, uh, the, the way they are connected is a bit different. Uh, there is four group of two uh, solar panels connected in series together and they are all in parallel but they are separate. I mean there is uh, four panel connected to one regulator and four other connected to the second one because there is two regulator. So when it's sunny outside all the solar panel catch this uh, sun energy and it goes in the two regulator and then after this it goes in the battery system so uh, what we need is uh, two kind of electrical current there is the 12 volt and there is the 110 because the 110 uh, is still useful in this because uh, we have a tv we have a combo washer dryer we have some outlets so this house needs 110 circuit too so we have to um, to separate like those two uh, system. How it works, the batteries are 24 volts. So when I need some 12 volt, uh, it's coming out of the batteries and it goes in the um, uh, 24 to 12 volt fir first because it has to change in 12 volt. And then it goes in this, uh, we call it a knife. It's pretty much an on off for the 12 volt system. So if, if anything's happen, if you want to close everything that's working on 12 volt, you close this knife. And then after this, it's going in the fuse box. So right there, you have all the fuse for every secret, uh, secret you have. And if anything's happen, like you go uh, first, watch if the fuse is uh, burned, uh, but it's there that you connect your circuit. Right now, there is two more circuit uh, available. So if the customer wants to add an exterior light for example or anything on working on 12 volt you still can because there is still some place uh, in the fuse box so after this all the secrets are going inside so the lights the pump uh, everything that works on 12 volts about the 110 power uh, when it comes out of the battery 24 volt system it goes in the inverter the, this inverter is 4000 watts and it's made for uh, to transform the 24 volt in 120, 110 power. So um, this inverter, by the way, this is a charger too. So when you plug the generator or when you plug a, a, a standard 30 amp plug, uh, it, it serves as a, as a charger too. So uh, after this, when it's transform, transform in 110, it goes directly inside my electrical panel that's uh, for the 110 uh, circuit and there you have the main breaker so with the main breaker you can shut off 
everything that's working on the 110 and then you have uh, five circuit uh, working on 110 so there is a one just for the combo washer dryer uh, there is some for the outlets and everything like in uh, in the eucalyptus there was a, a dishwasher for example too so that's it uh, for the system uh, for the explanation I'm gonna tell you about this uh, small um, re regulator control. There is two controllers like that. Uh, there is one inside this box and the other one is inside because there is one, uh, there is two regulators, right? So there is one connected to one and the, the one inside is connected to the other regulator. So on this little controller, you can see the voltage, you can see how much sun you have, how much, um, amp you're getting from the from the sun and you can have some statistic and everything so if you open it you can have access to that and the same thing inside so how this system work like uh, our customer this customer wanted to know if it's possible to be put plugged and to use at the same time your batteries uh, it's kind of impossible because when you're plugged this inverter understand that you have to charge the batteries so like it's gonna charge the batteries to full uh, full capacity and then if you use anything inside uh, on 110 like the tv or anything it's not going to use the power of the battery is directly going to use the power of the grid so if you really want to use like the more efficiency possible this system you have to plug it only uh, when uh, you have to so you have to make sure you check um, your your little controller controller there uh, and like when you really need uh, some power you plug uh, you plug the house like when it's cloudy outside or like during the winter it's a little harder to catch some sun so you might have to plug the house a little more often uh, uh, in the winter so it's the same thing with the with a generator so you you start the generator only uh, when you um, I have to charge the batteries. Last thing I have to say about this is um, the only thing you have to check if uh, you want to know like how much energy you have in the batteries. You only have to check the voltage on the small controller. Really what you have to understand is when it's 25 volt the batteries are 100% full and you like when it's 22.5 volt it's critical so that's where like you have to plug your house but uh, this system it's better if this uh, those batteries never go down uh, under 50 percent uh, charge so when it's around 23 it's a good time to to plug your batteries if it's not sunny also this system is good for all weathers so right now we're in quebec like it's uh, for people who who's asking like yes but your batteries are outside isn't it gonna freeze or whatever no it is not because this system there is in this system a sensor uh, that re recognize if it's uh, if the batteries are too cold and if it's too cold uh, the inverter is gonna start and is gonna reheat automatically the batteries so uh, so the batteries can always stay pretty much at the same temperature and in the summer when it's very hot uh, it's pretty much the same thing, but there is no sensor, but like the insulation of the box does the work and there is um, There is two uh, temperature sensor one connected to each regulator that tells you uh, What's the what is the temperature inside the box always like if if we want to know and after a year we, uh, we realize that it always stay it never goes up uh, to like uh, something ar around uh, 20 C, uh, 20 Celsius, so it's very, it's very good. And during the winter, it, it never freezes too. So uh, this, that's why we put it uh, outside. So uh, you guys, if you have any question, it's, uh, it's, it will be a pleasure for me to answer them. Have a good day. Have a good night. Goodbye.